Welcome back to another Movies with Andy. Today we're going to be talking about Renfield. That was really bad. I swear I'm not doing the whole review like that. God bless you, Mr. Renfield. Oh, God bless you, nuns. You're a hero. Robert Montague Renfield. Renfield stars Nicholas Holt and Nicholas Cage as Dracula. That was just the last time, I promise. So after decades of being Dracula's servant, Renfield thinks it's time for a new career and move on. Let me just say, I know that this makeup is horrible, but you know how hard it is to find a vampire costume in April? Nicolas Cage is an amazing Dracula. You can tell he was just having so much fun with this character. From the accent to the movement to just how he's dressed. Nicolas Cage is Dracula. Then there's Nicholas Holt, who is Renfield. The story is mostly centered around him. He goes to a help group because he feels like he is in an abusive relationship. And his abuser is his boss. Dracula. This movie was surprisingly funny and I thought it had a lot of great moments. Not only was the humor really good, but the action was actually great. There was blood and gore and awesome fight scenes. And I don't know what it is, but the crowd always laughs when someone gets their head punched off. So that's a little warning. It is a vampire movie, so you will see a lot of blood. There were a lot of parts that I felt like just dragged on a little bit, and there was a little love story that I feel like just didn't work. It felt like they were alluding to it, and then it kind of just ended and then they stopped it. Also, I wish there were more Dracula Renfield back and forth. I feel like most of the movie, they spent a lot of time separated from each other. I will say, I feel like usually with other movies, I want the story to be more outrageous, but with this one, they should have kept it a lot simpler. But overall, this movie was a lot of fun with the action, the comedy, and just Nicolas Cage's outrageous Dracula. Now, would I go watch this movie in the theater again? Honestly, I'd probably wait till it comes out into a streaming service. It is a lot of fun and I want to see Nicolas Cage be a vampire again. So let me know, is this one of your favorite vampire movies or which vampire movie do you like? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And there's a new review coming next week.